You know, I just love a dramatic scene. I mean, that intro gets that blood pumping, gets the adrenaline going, leading up to that epic scene only to see my face. Apologies for that. I'm Brandon. No D, by the way. Uh, yeah, there is no D in this name, hence Brandon, not Brandon. Actually, if you guys appreciate what you've witnessed on my channel, guys and gals and all species, I would love to have you as part of the Brandon No D family. Hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, and don't forget to hit all to be notified in that next crazy video I post for you. So what are we actually covering today? We are going over Oculus Quest 2 accessories. For some of you, you already know that I did add the Oculus Quest 2 to the channel. And once in a while, I am gonna get some accessories sent my way to review for you guys. All right, without any further ado, let's go ahead and cover the VR cover. No pun intended. Yeah, I figured we'd cover the case first because it's obviously the easiest to go over because there's not a huge amount to it. And it actually takes up some room on the table, so why not get it over with first? Guys, just running your hand over it, you know this is definitely a premium case. It's got this uh, fabric material on the outside that's very well done. And then the VR cover logo, and it's actually a rubberized embroidered label. So pretty slick there. Also coming with the VR labeled rubberized zippers. I mean, looking around this whole entire case, it is definitely attention to detail including the nice thick handle all the way down for the stitching of the rings that the strap connects to. Speaking of strap, you get this nice shoulder pad at the top and then these powder coated metal clasps that actually go in instead of out. Different, but I like it. All right, let's go ahead and open this up. And when you unzip it all the way around, you're gonna notice that the compartment opens from the top down. And right off the bat, you're gonna see this nice mesh pockets that unzip. Inside this one is a breathable with some nice soft fabric. And then on the top one, you'll notice on the inside is this liner. So they've really thought it out where when you're in an intense game playing the Oculus, you're gonna sweat. That's all there is to it. You're gonna sweat. And they have thought, of everything when it comes to water or sweat, okay? Anything you put in there, it's not gonna damage the case. You're gonna have a breathable pocket down at the bottom. It's nicely done. Now, taking a closer look at the bottom compartment, you have these Velcro straps that you can tie down your controllers and the headset, and also this material that is embedded in each of these pockets. It's this soft felt fabric that feels extremely nice on the fingers. You guys know those sweaters that uh, come with that same material. They are so soft and feel so good. So yeah, basically this case is definitely going to protect your Oculus Quest and your controllers with absolutely no worries in mind. Let's go ahead and go over the VR cover controller grips next. All right, taking a look at the VR controller grip, right off the bat I thought, uh, plastic. And yes, it is a molded plastic, uh, unlike the Kiwi grips that I have. And I also did a review on those Kiwi grips. Be sure to check that video out in my all tech playlist. Now we'll go ahead and install this in just a second, but first I'd like to show you what the box comes with. That's one thing I love about VR cover is they always include extra parts. I mean, how often do we need extra parts? They know you guys are gonna be a little rough on some of these accessories. They know you're gonna be in an intense game where you get a little crazy and things happen. So do you wanna pause your game, get on Amazon and order it and hope it comes the next day? or do you wanna have extra parts sitting on the side? Thank you, VR cover. You also get two fabric wrist strap covers that go over the strap and make it even softer. You'll also get two Velcro felt tie downs and two extra clamps as well. Now I've been using the Kiwi Design Grips on my controllers ever since I purchased them. And yes, I purchased them with my own money. They did not reach out to me and send them like 
VR cover, which I appreciate. But that being said, these are what they look like on the controller. And yes, they're definitely on the larger size. And that's why I covered, are they okay for smaller hands? Yes, they are. But if your hand is a little bit smaller than mine, I've had a few comments saying they're just too bulky. But you are definitely not gonna have those issues with the VR grips. Uh, yeah, I already have this one installed, but don't worry, I'll show you how you install one on a naked one. That's right, guys, this thing is definitely naked, all but the uh, bumper guard, and the bumper guard came with the Kiwi grip as well, and I'll be keeping it on the controller as we do this review, but bear in mind, VR Cover also sells the bumper guards as well. Looking at this controller, you know, it reminds me of when you have a phone and you put this nice big fat case on it and then you take the case off maybe a month down the road to clean it and you're like, wow, is this phone small? Hence, this controller seems super mini to me now that I have the Kiwi grips off for sure. But the best part is when you add the VR cover, it does not add bulk. Now, first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna have a right and left, okay? And it's gonna be labeled right here. We have the left. So you see the curved angle, it's gonna slip on just like that, only goes one way, and then you push all the way up, okay? Not gonna fly off, I promise. But of course, they go with that extra security with their felt strap. And how that goes on is you put it through this slot come up under and then I put it down on the table I think it's easier and then I come up through here and I want to pull this tight first and push down okay and then I pull over around and there you have it nice and tight so is it gonna go anywhere mm, nope I'm not thinking so guys it's connected and it feels really good. And like I said, it definitely does not add that much bulk to the controller whatsoever. Now, when you put your hand in, you have the strap down here that you pull tight and cinch with those clamps. Again, you get two extra in the box. If you lose one, love their thought process. Now, the elastic strap is very nice. It also has this lining of a rubberized grip. So when you have it on, it just doesn't slide off your hand, feels good. But they also have the cover that we mentioned earlier and you don't have to use it, of course. Some people get very sweaty hands and don't prefer to have that extra material on there soaking. Personally, I don't have that problem. So let's show you how the cover installs. All right, what you're gonna wanna do is take the cover, pull it through the bottom with the Velcro side here and you fold it right over the strap and pull this over and Velcro it, and look at that guys, they still have their label on the cover. Love the attention to detail, I really do. I dig stuff like that. But there you go, pull it tight, and it looks really nice. Oh, and by the way, if any of you are worried, like parents perhaps, about the wrist tether, no worries. It works just fine with the VR grips. Personally, I don't care for the extra dangly cord in my way. I don't use them. They're definitely not going anywhere. You can shake them all you want, try to throw them. They're gonna stay right there on the hand. And I'll tell you right away, I noticed that my thumbs and fingers just feel in the right position on the controllers and the analog switches. I will say I did stretch a little bit more with the Kiwi design than I'm gonna with these. So in all reality, I might just stick with the VR cover grips versus the Kiwi design that I paid for out of my pocket. Let's go over the pros and cons next and then I'll cover the retail of these and the case. And I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna be a little happy. Pros on this case, extremely well built. And you're gonna know this as soon as you grab the handle, pick it up, touch it, feel the material. It is a beautifully made case and you are going to notice it right off the get. From the super soft felt fabric lining all the pockets and the two different style, one being breathable and the other having a liner to keep out that moisture. Let's go over cons on the case, because I do have some, okay? Unfortunately, as nice as it's built, 
it's very, very limited. And what I mean by that is, although you are able to fit the controllers with the VR grips, unfortunately, I was not able to use my Bobo VR head strap. And that's a real drag for me because I'm not gonna go back to the original strap just so I can use the case. So do I wish the case was a little bit larger and had more room? Absolutely, I'd be able to use it. Unfortunately, I am not going to be able to use this case for the headset and the controllers unless I was to actually go back. Quest 2's original head strap or possibly get a smaller head strap that VR Cover does sell on their website. All right, let's cover the pros and cons on the controller grips next. One of the biggest pros of the VR cover grips is the compactness of it, if that's even a word. It's very form-fitting and compact, but yet not too small to where you don't feel like you have a good grip on this controller. Another pro, love the fact that VR cover includes extra parts, just in case we get a little careless. I love that. All right, what are my cons, if any, on this VR cover grip? Yeah, I actually do have one con and one con only, okay? However, these are very nice and form-fitting. You will have to pull the cover off every time you need to swap out a battery. Yes, unfortunately, they're not like the Kiwi design where they have the battery compartment built in, which is very easy access to get your battery in and out. And worst off, you have to remove the bumper guard strap as well. So is it gonna be inconvenient? Yeah, is it a deal breaker? No, I don't think so. I guess I should rephrase that. If you're a heavy Oculus user, a VR, guru and you're constantly playing a ton of hours then yeah it might be an inconvenience for you to have to always continue to swap batteries out but for myself i have no issues because i don't have enough time like you kids do to be playing all the damn time now although i am not sponsored or endorsed through vr cover they merely reach out to my channel send me out the products i do you guys the reviews now i do have an affiliate program with them so i'll be sure to leave you the affiliate link down in my description below when you use it i do get a little kickback it's not huge but it does help me and the channel grow and the beauty is they have an assortment of accessories to choose from. So get on down there, take a look through it. I'm sure you'll find something you need for your VR system. So how much is the case and the controller grips? Simply said, $29 for each. Doesn't matter which ones you go with. So get on down there, pick yourself up a set. I'm sure you won't be disappointed. Now, even though the video is short and sweet, before I let you go, you guys know what time it is. It's time for Brannon to open a fortune cookie because that's what we do on the channel. Come on, you know that. And of course, this one is broke. Grab that little slip right out of there. All right. Enjoy life. It is better to be happy than wise. What the hell are they trying to say? Better to be happy than smart? Wouldn't you be happy if you were smart? Well, if you guys have stuck with me throughout the review, I appreciate it. Now you're either family or maybe there might be mm, something bugging you. But hey, we don't judge here at this table. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button on your way out the door to catch me in my next video.